Hi everyone. What I'm going to talk about is buying tools. Uh, I rarely buy a new tool. Uh, I'll give you an example. This hammer, it's an S-wing hammer. Got some surface rust on it. Probably cleaned up. It's in really good shape, I mean, as far as a hammer goes. This could be uh, polished up. I'll probably do that one day. Um, I paid six dollars for this. This is a forty dollar hammer. If I was to buy it brand new, ah, uh, you no, know, no need to buy a brand new one when you can pick up something like that for five, five or six bucks. Now this is something I have to put a handle on. It's a six pound sledge, maul, whatever you want to call it. Ah, uh, I think I paid a dollar for it. I paid uh, four dollars for this shovel, as you can see, and I paid three dollars for this. And I, I, I've got maybe I don't know seven or eight bow saws. You never have too many bow saws, but I think I only paid like three bucks for it, four bucks. I have a uh, three uh, uh, half inch socket set that I picked up. It's a proto ratchet. I've got extensions, uh, sockets. The sockets are all either uh, Craftsman, Mastercraft, uh, uh, Snap-on, Gray. Uh, the whole thing never cost me 75 bucks. And I mean, it's I got standard metric sockets and I mean, I bought them piece at a time uh, at at flea markets and yard sales. Uh, if I went and bought a socket set of the same quality, you know, frig man, three or four hundred dollars. I mean, you know, uh, who could afford that? Um, whenever I go to yard sales or to flea markets and I see tools, I pick them up. Uh, you know, it, there, there's no, you know, like, you know, I can get a handle for this for five or six bucks or make a handle for nothing. You know, this would be $40, that would be about 20 Yeah, I think these are around 20 uh, I don't know what a 24-inch bow saw goes for, but I mean, you'd be looking at the best part of $100 here. And like I said, six, one... And seven, so that's fourteen dollars. Um, whenever you're looking for tools, you should consider buying used, um, simply because, I mean, you're paying cents on the dollar, right? Um, I have another Estwing hammer I paid three dollars for. That's a forty-dollar hammer for three bucks. Is it? This is a $40 hammer for 6 bucks. So, you know, I got $80 worth of hammers for uh, $9. Uh, I don't know how many shovels I have. Um, sledges, I, I don't know either. <laughs> I know I got about a head. 6 or 8 or maybe even more bow saws. I don't know how many I have. But the thing is, is I buy the stuff all used. Um, a tool is not like a, a loaf of bread, right? You can wear a tool out, but most tools, especially if you buy them at yard sales and they haven't been used professionally, uh, they're not worn out. You know? And uh, you, know, you can never have too many hammers. You can never have too many ever, right? Um, and like I said, most of the stuff I have is I don't know how many hacksaws I have. I buy them for like anywhere from a buck to two bucks to three bucks, uh, you know, and uh, so that way I have a bunch of hacksaws with different uh, different tooth blades on them and so on and so forth. Hand saws, uh, socket screwdrivers, pliers. Oh, go through pliers. And 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 another thing is is uh, clamps and everything. You get them for cents on the dollar. 
So if you you know like everybody should have a toolkit, a big toolkit, as many tools as you can possibly have. And the reason being is is that tools are important. Tools allow you to do a lot of things, but you want to do it as cheaply as possible, right? Socket sets. Yeah, I was I was one place and they had a, there was a box of sockets, right? Quarter and half inch sockets. I bought the whole box. I got multiples of. And sometimes I sell them in at yard sales. I'll have a yard sale or I'll go to a flea market and then I'll sell some of the stuff, right? It starts to get too. <laughs> I start to have too much stuff. I I sell some of it. But that's the thing, you know. You you you, you know. Now th there is a time when I will buy a new tool. Um, I'll give you an example. I had a, a Ford Ranger truck, and I did not have a socket to fit the particular thing that I was working on. So I went out and I paid uh, $18 for the socket. It was a big one. Um, you know, sometimes that happens. When we first moved in here, I was putting new locks on. All my tools were packed away. I needed a chisel. So I went to the hardware store and picked up the chisel. Uh, and I, I, and the thing is, I was quite happy about it because I got a, a fairly large chisel. Um, and I didn't have one that big. I could have done with a smaller chisel. But that's the thing. You know, you have... There are times when you find it. Right? Um, right now, uh, my, next, my next tool purchase is going to be a scroll saw. Um, I've been looking for one used. New, they're like, you know, anywhere from $140 to $300, $400, $500. I'm hoping to get one for, you know, anywhere from $50 to $100. I don't need anything special. I'm not going to get, uh, uh, you know, one of the Excaliburs or anything like that. I can't afford that, and I'm not going to use it that hard that I would need something like that. But, you know, it's the same, like, you know, I got a couple of jigsaws, uh, uh, my skill saws, I bought three skill saws for $45 at a, at a yard sale one time. And I still have two of them. I gave one to my brother. Uh, all three of them had carbide blades on them. I still use them, two of them. Right? My, uh, my table saw, I paid 35 bucks for it. It didn't have a motor, but... And it's not a 10 inch, it's only, a, uh, it's only an 8 inch or 7 to 3 quarters or 7 and a quarter inch. But it's, it works for what I want it for. You can save an awful lot of money. And you can end up with a, you know, for $100 you can buy an awful whack of tools. And I just, you know, wanted to tell you, and well, I've rambled on too long. Till the next time.